from the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, New Day Northwest starts now. Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. I am Angela Rus Russell in for Margaret today and Amity and Teresa is here to play as well. And I see you got all ready for us. We are both ready. Yeah. Happy Halloween. And you know I'm in a little bit of my PJs. I've been waiting for that moment when I can wear PJs to work. To work. So, Seahawks, go Hawks. See, it's a win today. <laughs> uh, and first up today, I'm learning that we take Halloween very seriously here at New Day. Oh yes, everyone's been working, everyone has on costumes, it is, it's fun. It's incredible and apparently we're not alone because Americans spend billions of dollars on costumes, parties and decorations. Yes, that was billions with a B. Yeah, and a good chunk of that money spent on our furry friends and I tell you, finding the perfect costume can actually be pretty stressful, right? So here with some great ideas and a few cute, cute pups, I mean, you have to see this. Kim Halstead from Homeward Pet Adoption Center, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I have to admit, I behind the scenes I was walking around and I saw one of the dogs and I was like oh my god this is gonna be great I want to be surprised with the rest of them so tell us about what you do yeah so we're Homeward Pet Adoption Center we've been around for 28 years going on 29 and we've helped over 31,000 cats and dogs wow. find new homes in the Northwest it's pretty incredible stuff when you think about it so many people working to get these dogs at home but today is a special day because now we get to highlight the fun of having a dog which means putting it in a costume right it should be your right as every dog owner um so can we start to see these beauties oh definitely <laughs> it's a fashion show it is we are ready for it um here we are who do we have first here this is spike First coming up is Spike. He is a Homeward Pet alumni, and he is dressed as a little punk, <laughs> a little rock star punk. And just in case you're new to, to the organization, alumni means that means he Spike's was a, found a home. Yes. He's found a home, and he was adopted by one of our staff members. Oh, isn't that the hazard in being a, a foster parent? Uh-huh. Yeah, Spike is adorable. Thank you, Spike. <laughs> You did great. He mm -hmm. looked at me like, are you sure? <laughs> you sure? Don't you want more of me? <laughs> and some of the pets that you're going to see are available for adoption. So mm -hmm. we'll let you know which ones. And this is Dottie, right? Oh, yep. and Dottie is a beautiful <laughs> butterfly. Dottie is a beautiful monarch butterfly. She is also an alumni from Homeward Pet and lives in the same home with Spike and oh. lives with one of our staff member, Peggy. <laughs> oh, Peggy, good work. Now, <laughs> She looks like a Pomeranian. It seems like you have all sorts of dogs that you're rescuing. Yeah, we have all sorts of breeds, all sorts of mixed breeds. Um, we get a lot of transports from other places in Washington. So whatever type of dog fits your family, please come check us out. Okay, Dottie, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> now, if you are ready to adopt, we are ready to show you those who are available. This is Jody. She's Supergirl. <laughs> Jody Tell was us just about Jody. <laughs> Jody was just a little, little scared of the runway, but uh, Supergirl is ready to be adopted. She's nine years old. Uh, she was found in Everett, so she's come a long way to find her new home. And she is a Chihuahua Dachshund mix, we think, and um, she is happy uh, with people, not a huge fan of other dogs, and tolerates cats. Yeah. What's the process, for those who've never been through it, what is the process for adopting with your organization? Yeah, so from Homeward Pet, you come in, you fill, in a, you fill out a short one-page application that just asks a few questions about your, your life and your family, and then you will come, or one of our adoption counselors will take you back, and then you'll meet are available dogs and see if one is right for you. Yeah, and what's the price range for it? Um, so, so our dogs range in price depending on their age. Okay. Um, so it'll depend on the pup. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> We've right. got one more pup. Yes, thank you so much. Mario. Jody. Tell us about Mario. Yeah, so Mario is a seven-year-old chihuahua wearing a hot dog costume. Mario, Mario, Mario. <laughs> He'll be available in about a week. He uh, still <laughs> needs his neuter surgery. <laughs> um, he was found in Olympia, so we don't have a ton of history on him, so we're not sure about his background, but he's a really happy, excited guy who is really looking for a great new place. When we're shopping for costumes for our pets, what things do we need to be mindful of? 
Well, when you're shopping for a costume, you want to make sure that it has enough breathing room because you want to make sure that your animal can breathe and that they're comfortable. Um, I like to look for ones that have clips so you can make sure you keep their, uh, their leash mm. attached to them very oh, securely throughout. Um, yeah, those are, those are a couple of the things you should look for. Adorable. All right, well, Mario, thank you. Mario looks great. They're all wonderful, lovey pets. And if you would like to find out more about some dogs up for adoption, as well as the upcoming Ugly Sweater Holiday Party at Homeward Pet Adoption Center on November 17th, all you have to do is go to our homepage, New Day, king5.com slash New Day, and you can have Wait, little puppy yourself. Yeah, Kim, thank you so much. This is fabulous. Can we get one more picture of these dogs all together? Oh. So two available for adoption, two alumni here. I think we're that picture. I love that. Anything else you want us to know, either if we have pets or just thinking about costumes? Yeah, just with Halloween coming up, just keep an eye on the candy because it's great for people and not so great for pets. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um, Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Okay, well look, I don't know about you, but I mean, I love seeing carved pumpkins, and I'm horrible at it. Oh yeah. We just wanna show you a yeah, different way of doing things. No knives needed. We're gonna decorate pumpkins, no carving.